Hi, my name is Rick Swartz, and I'm here to talk to you about Hands Ontario, Health in Aging, Neurodegeneration, and Dementias in Ontario. This is a study that's occurring across the province, led by physicians and scientists in ONDRI, the Ontario Neurodegenerative Disease Research Initiative. Our goal is to improve the diagnosis, prognosis, care, and outcomes for people living with neurodegenerative diseases and stroke and dementia in Ontario and beyond. We work very closely with persons with lived experience, their family members, and the charity organizations that support them. You see them listed here, and we've co-designed this study together to help accelerate discovery and to try to give something back to our participants uh, who get involved in the research. Andre started with a foundational study with what we call deep phenotyping or characterization across diseases. And that's really the Andre theme is we're looking at similarities and differences across diseases and try to improve the lives of people struggling with these diseases. A lot of them do overlap and that's one of the important things we're looking at. In Hans Ontario, we're moving out of the academic centers and away from the more detailed characterization to something that is in the home and the community and that hopefully is more feasible to do. We're looking for thousands of volunteers and participants to help us make discovery and accelerate impact. What Hands Ontario does is collects data across basic genetic and molecular blood sampling uh, to try to improve the diagnosis and predictive ability to understand what's going to happen and why and how diseases may overlap with uh, a lot of data about the individual function. This is wearable biosensors, the latest in remote sensor technology to help understand day-to-day -day life uh, behaviors and real world functioning. And then connecting that to the health system to look at how uh, people are interacting with the healthcare system and what kind of supports they're needing. All of this is done in the home and community. It's a fairly simple protocol. It's done over several weeks with some telephone or Zoom-based interviews with our coordinators. For people that agree, we're gonna mail out sensors and we use a multi-sensor wear, wrist, chest, and ankle sensors. This is one of the unique aspects is that we integrate and combine data from all of these. And this allows us very powerful tools to understand activity and sleep and uh, sedentary behaviors and social interactivity and risk for falls and all sorts of things that are important to people in their day-to-day -day lives. The sensors are worn for seven to 10 days. They can be removed for swimming or showering. And uh, then they're mailed back to us. We ask participants to give one blood sample and that can be done at a local life lab. We are going to be asking people to complete some assessments and questionnaires by phone or online with our coordinators. And then we put all the data together and we give a report at the end of the study with health and activity uh, feedback for participants. People can use this uh, for their own information. They can take it to their doctors. They can use it to maybe help improve their day-to-day -day routines or ensure that they're meeting uh, guideline recommended targets. Finally, we're actually working together with all of our participants to try to further improve the feedback. And we're asking you for your feedback on our feedback so that future participants can get even more value out of their participation. We're also working on a feedback form that we can provide to physicians to help provide clinically relevant data uh, to, to uh, medical caregivers. We're looking for individuals who are living independently in the community with no diagnosis of neurodegenerative disease or stroke. So usually people over age 65, but most importantly, we're focused on people with Alzheimer's disease, mild cognitive impairment, ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson's disease, frontotemporal dementia, or stroke. If this is you or somebody you know, please reach out to us if you're interested in helping us to make discovery or you're interested in getting some of this data for yourself. Our phone number is on the screen here, 437-882-8335, or you can email us or visit our website for more information. We look forward to working with you.